in Paris today. More than 200 demonstrators were arrested after clashing with police. The protests were not allowed under France's state of emergency. President Obama arrived in the French capital tonight, joining nearly 150 other leaders for a climate summit. Margaret Brennan is traveling with the president. France is bracing for its biggest security challenge since the terror attacks two weeks ago. 147 world leaders are gathering here in Paris for a long-planned climate change conference. Riot police have been deployed in unprecedented numbers. Today, some clashed with protesters who defied the government ban on demonstrations. There is a 120,000 strong security force stationed throughout the country, and nearly 1,000 people thought to pose a security risk have been blocked from entering France. During his two days in Paris, President Obama will forego a hotel. Instead, he'll overnight at the heavily guarded U.S. ambassador's residence. Bruce Tully spent 40 years protecting dignitaries around the world. This is the highest threat environment that I've professionally ever seen. There's so much going on, not just with ISIS, other terrorist groups and protesters. This is an incredibly critical threat time for us to be involved in. Despite the risk, President Obama praised France's decision not to call off the conference. What a powerful <laughs> rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. Yet the terror threat is already distracting from the summit. A march scheduled for Sunday was banned due to security concerns. Environmentalists staged a silent protest, leaving their shoes in the square they had planned to walk through. But as with so much in this still morning city, life marches on. Jeff, the president will also have a chance here in Paris to meet with Russia's Vladimir Putin and other world leaders who were also juggling this immediate danger from terrorism with the existential threat posed by climate change. Uh, Margaret, on the subject of the summit, what is the president hoping to accomplish while in Paris? Well, the goal is to reach an agreement that would reduce greenhouse gases, which are blamed for rising temperatures and ecological disasters. But, Jeff, even if a deal is reached, it won't be legally binding, and critics say it may not even be enough. Margaret Brennan in Paris. Margaret, thank you.